Hey there guys, what's up? And welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, well, um, yeah, Minecraft Story Mode and a Minecraft Story Mode video. But today, guys, we're going to continue where we left off last time. Um, let's go back. To, I think we just press play and we automatically go to it. Um, yeah, guys. Um, here we are. Last time we completed um, episode 3, the last place you look. And we um, started a block... Um, I think it's called between a block and a hard place technically, but it's called a block and a hard place But here we go guys last time our video was like probably one of the worst and saddest ever But here we go guys. Let's see what's up um, with everybody So yeah, if you haven't noticed or haven't remembered guys the winter storm broke up into three pieces So that's not a good thing either. We made it. We actually freaking made it Jesse Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. Uh, who are you people? It's me! Eligard, come on! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. All that matters is, you're safe now. You're among friends, Gabriel. I don't feel safe. All I feel is the horror of being in that monster. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. <sighs> Magnus, for a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Magnus's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. You can't blame yourself, Jesse. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is! Oh, great! Now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three wither storms? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Alright, guys. Um, Sorry for being kind of silent at the time. But um, that's basically just the quick recap of what happened last time. Fortunately, Magnus was gone. We didn't mean to take his armor. I bet you if we took Elagard's armor, though, that would happen to her. I bet you all that. But, yeah, guys, unfortunately, Petra's still sick. We couldn't defeat the Winter Storm because now it's split up into three. 
and also it's worse gabriel's i think we all think he got amnesia at least that's what i think so far so let's talk to eligar let's see what um she's um talking about with gabriel not gonna lie but we've dealt with worse right have we how's it going tell me jesse who is this person she keeps insulting me she what is i think i'm talking to a friend the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... I feel I need a little reminder. You're both members of the Order of the Stone. And what's that? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Really? Really? Yep. You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah. <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. Maybe some diamond blocks? Exactly. Well, um, express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Gravel? No. Dirt? <laughs> Don't think so. <sighs> Alright, so... Um, yeah guys, I'm sorry. I just want you to get like the full experience of the game with everybody's like talking about Let's see. Um, is there anything in the chest? He's basically just said dirt and gravel. Maybe he missed something by any chance Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. All right. Um cobblestone. Um, that's one thing you didn't say Okay, we only got like one piece. Maybe if we got like plank it up, but let's talk to Petra She does she looks really really sick Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Ooh, that's kind of got to hurt. Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting... It's not her fault. She didn't even know what it was for. No way. You could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm going to do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm... <coughs> Fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Just get some rest. I think that's the best thing we can she can do for now, because I know it's really thoughtful and everything, guys, but... She, if she keeps pushing herself like this, she's just gonna get more hurt. So what about Ruben? Uh, he's looking really, really scared right now. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Alright, so, that, I'm guessing that should, but just look at his eyes, guys. See, that looks, he just looks so sad and worried and everything. Um, the horses? Can we look at the horses? Huh. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Oh, wow. We don't... We, um, imagine a fight, guys. Imagine that fight. Reuben versus the horses. All right. 
Um, let's see what Luke is. He said he, I think he's gonna go out, but let's see. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're alright. Thanks. Hopefully they're okay, guys. I mean, like, I'm. I mean, they were kind of rude to us at the beginning of the game, but I hope they're still safe. Company. Well, you. Ah, oh, man, she's really sick. Now she's starting Ruben. to be mean to Ruben. No, Ruben, buddy, come on, Ruben. I mean, I mean, she is sick. I, I mean, uh, not sick. I know she's sick and all, but um, Ruben, come out. Oh, that thing keeps getting bigger and bigger, at least the one in the middle, guys. Can we switch to point of view or something? Um, no? I, I don't want to fall off the cliff, but I don't think we can turn and look at it. Where's Soren? I saw him out there. Did he go back in? I don't think he did. Um, is he out here? Um, nope, not over here. Um, how do we go faster again? I forgot. Okay, um, Rich, um, the right button is... Oh, wait, um, what about Ruben? He looks sadder now. Don't run off on me like that, okay? We're gonna take another look at it. The middle one just keeps going better and better. Petra didn't mean it, Ruben. She's just not herself right now. Yeah, I know. I wish she would get better, too. That's alright, buddy. Just try to stay calm. Alright, our... Uh... The world needs us, Reuben. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. You can say that again. It's a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, I hear Soren, I think. Go take responsibility. Wait. What, Soren? I did that by locking the command block away, so only you could use it. Oh, do you still not is that Ivo's voice? Or Soren's? Let's see. I. It is Ivor. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha, he's been following us. It makes sense. Like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> sure, like we haven't, like we haven't seen that before. Specifically, this group. Wait, what? The storm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel. You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. But he gave that to us, genius. The Order's amulet. Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Oh, yeah. In the last episode, they were, like, pulling blocks Jesse's out of it. Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Wither Storm. Yeah. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Wither Storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. 
Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the That would draw them out since we flood the end though, but that's a good idea. For once. Ugh. Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! Great idea! What do you know? The Witherstorms? We bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. What? See, Wait, he does? When I first took possession of the command block. You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, and he kept it a secret. Really? I'm inclined to agree. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So Makes I sense for his <laughs> expertise. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to Whoa. Attack the and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Nice. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Yeah. That's one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Yeah. Let's just say a few it's miles. The farthest place a person can travel before being utterly. Okay, that actually made my heart jump a little bit, guys. It's because I got my headset on all the time. Sometimes at full blast, depending how loud it is. Okay, now I can't even see the top of it anymore. I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a- Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello, my name is Gabriel. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. Look at that smile. He was like, what? The storms are drawn to the <laughs> Oh my god. Back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. Nice. You figured all that out just now? Yep. The point is we need that to get little amount of time. Safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. All right, Ivor, lead the way. Never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. All right, guys, let's see. Oh, we actually get to do it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Wonder what he's going to put the amulet. Maybe just in his back pocket or all the time or something? Alright, so it's all of us, but it looks like Axel and Eligard are out for a while, guys. So, I wonder what that's going to be about. Alright, so, looks like I'm guessing it's, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty far. <laughs> Look at Ruby, he's ki it's kind of like a pig backpack, in a way. He's just leaning against us. He's enjoying riding the horse. How much farther? Is it much further? Not too much further. 
Hopefully. Minecraft story mode. Man, it looks like they've been walking for a while. Although in real life, that's probably like about 10 times the amount of days. Oh, we were in the forest. Guys, look, we're like in the sandy dunes, I think. Still walking? Really? Okay, so it's a beyond this. Okay. Um, can't be much longer. Can't be much longer, right? No, not too much longer. That's what he said again. Please don't tell me he's gonna say it again. Oh man, guys, imagine how long it must have took them to make this game. Imagine it. And look, see, we're even, we're even in like um the hills and the snowy biomes. Look at all this. Uh, I'm told this is all other biomes too, like actual Minecraft. Maybe we can find it in my world someday. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought he was gonna knock him back. I thought I was gonna knock him off the horse at first. Stop sleeping, Ivor. You gotta point out the way. We've gotta be close. Where are we? In the forest again? Or... Where are we now? Oh, no. Here we go. We're in the jungle biome now. Ugh. Man, I'm, it's we. Oh, we're actually even playing this, guys. Imagine how long it must take them in real life, like a straight 24-hour one day. That's all right, Ruben. You could go to sleep. Ah, uh, we. Oh my God, we we must be close, right? We must be there now, right? No, no, we're not even close. I. He's been lying the entire time. Really? Ah, oh, man. I think we're going insane. I'm actually about to go insane, guys. Man, this is taking a while. Do we make it? Oh, okay, so now we're in a swamp. There's gotta be around. And a land far away. Oof. My rear end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's what? way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Why are you so down on the Far Lands, Soren? They sound cool. See? Jesse thinks the Far Lands are cool. Yeah, floating Far islands and all that. Sounds like a lot of adventure and fun. Where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit. And a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. Uh, let's actually all take a rest, guys. We must be close. My stomach. Ooh. Just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry. We could use a breather. Especially the horses. The far lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Looks like everybody, including Ruben, is hungry. And poor horses, guys. Imagine how tired we all must feel. Imagine the horses. Wait. Where are the horses? Maybe I just can't see them? Oh, oh, here they are, right here. Imagine poor horses. I'm, they're not really even, like, tired or anything. They just don't look tired. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of, of this episode. Sorry, I, I uh, mispronounced my outro there. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. Please give a like and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed this. And prepare to, um, I don't even know what's going to happen next. Because apparently we've been traveling for a while. We got to look at all the cool biomes. Maybe eventually we could take a look at the biomes in our world. But for now, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. Once again, please give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Later, guys.